Well, once again, good morning, Eastern North Carolina. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to our next group. Very special group here with us, and you've probably seen them around Eastern North Carolina before. Right now, I'm sitting down with Abigail Oliver, one of the members of this special family band. Abigail, you are the chosen person to talk to me. How does it feel? <laughs> Uh, great. It does feel great. A little nervous, but <laughs> <laughs> she's being so sarcastic right now. But Abigail is an absolute sweetheart, and you're about to see her perform with her entire family. But first, I want to talk about how this happened. It's this massive family that's all now a part of this band. Everybody's so talented. How did this happen, girl? Um, when I was nine years old, I got my first guitar, and it was a little baby Taylor Swift guitar, and it was so, it was like a big pink bow and everything. And um, I started taking lessons with my mom, and then my dad took up the banjo. And our neighbor one day just said, hey, you know, you guys want to play for us over here? We were like, okay, you know, sure, we'll play for hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> and so we, um, we just kind of started from there in 2015, and we've been building it ever since.
you'll see me in a dream. You'll see me in a dream. You'll see me in a dream across the mountain stream. You will hear me say that I'm far away. Never far away. singing a song called The Littlest Birds by the Be Good Tanyas and it's um, it's actually on my guitar strap it says the littlest birds sing the prettiest songs and that kind of it speaks to us because most of us are kids you know and so it's it's interesting what big sound you can get out of such little people well when we come back you are going to hear the littlest birds with all the big sounds right here from Abigail and her family strung together so stay with us we will be right back well, I feel like an old hobo, I'm sad. 